Hello buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a follow-up video to my estate sale video. And if you did not see my estate sale video, down below in the description, I will post a link and you can go check it out. I have so much stuff that I got at this um, estate sale. I'm, I think I got probably between 80 and 85 pieces of jewelry. I actually just did a video on all the jewelry that I got. So be sure to check out that video. I may post it before or after this one. I'm not sure I'm recording them the same day. So be sure to watch for it or check for it. But if you want to see the video of everything I got at this estate sale, that one I posted probably mm, close to a month ago. It says estate sale. Check out what I got at this estate sale. I can't remember, but I'll post the link down below also. Um, it was a pretty good find. So I'm going to show you what has sold so far. It is not a ton, but I have already made all of my money back plus a lot. And I also have over 80 pieces of jewelry left and a bunch of other stuff that's still listed on eBay. So I'm gonna go through what's sold and just kinda give you my numbers um, as we go and then tell you the total um, that I've made so far and what I paid for it. Again, if you didn't see that video and we're just gonna get started here. Some of this stuff like You'll see, I'll tell you, but like this first item, it's not a huge bolo. It's just something, again, I picked it up at this estate sale and it was the end of the sale and I was just basically boxing stuff up and they were giving me a super good deal. So I'm like, oh, I can probably sell these. Not a bolo, it's just money that I made and money's money, you know? It took me two seconds to list it. Well, maybe a little more than two seconds, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click below and click subscribe and um, click the alerts button that'll alert you when I post new videos. All right, let's get started. All right, so these are just Sherwin-Williams drop cloths. Not a big deal, they're just plastic. Uh, somebody offered me $7, I took it. They pay paid the shipping also. So I'm, I probably made five or six bucks. Is that a big deal? No, but hey, it's, it's money, it's something that sold. And my goal is, is to try and keep track of everything that sells for this estate sale and what I paid for it and what my totals are. So some of the stuff that I was kind of like, eh, I still wanna know the numbers because I wanna see how I did overall. And that's gonna be fun. Okay, so I sold these for seven bucks plus shipping, not a big deal. All right, so this Coke can, it's unopened and it's weird because somehow it's evaporated on the inside because it's only like half full, but it's never been opened. You can turn it upside down and nothing comes out. Anyway, it's a vintage Coke can. I don't know why on earth it says $1.99. I'm guessing because I started the auction out at $1.99. And when I, what I did is I accepted a best offer on it. So I don't know if all of you are using the, um, it's basically, uh, it's an auction style listing, but you have the option to take a best offer. So somebody offered me $12.50 with free shipping. I basically, by the time it's all said and done, got this for nothing, it was pretty much free. So I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna take my 1250, I'm gonna get it out of my house and I'm gonna move on. I had listed it auction style, I think it already ran a cycle or two and it didn't sell at $1.99. So I was like, I'm just gonna take it. So uh, 1250 free shipping, I think it costed me 388 to ship. So I didn't make a lot of money, five or six bucks, but hey, so what I wanted to show you is I went into Flipper Tool and I put in the item number and hit OK and you can see that I sold it for $12.50. It doesn't say $12.50 plus free shipping, but you get the idea. So if you are not using Flipper Tools, man, this is awesome. Um, you go into www.flippertools.com and you go to best offer actual selling price. And this is great for if you're searching solds and you see something where it says best offer was accepted and it's got the line through it, you get grab that item number and you put it here and you click okay and it's gonna tell you what it sold for. So awesome research tool. This guy also has a Facebook group and he has other tools. It's amazing, so be sure to check it out. All right, so and let's see. And I just found out about this not long ago, so super exciting. Okay, the next thing I sold was this Tree of Life pendant. I took a best offer of $15. This is an Estee Lauder pocket watch style. It's got like a 
face powder in it and it's got a little mirror. I sold it for $9.99. I was hoping that people were going to bid against each other on it, but $9.99, I'll take it. All right, this thing, I bought a laundry basket and it had like doilies and linens and just a bunch of mixed match stuff in it. And this brawl slash halter type top was in it. I almost threw it in the trash can and I'm like, you know what? I mean, it's stained and it, it's, it's not in good shape, but I was like, you know what? It's a piece of history. Maybe somebody will want it. I really don't care if I make money on it. I'm just going to list it. And if somebody, I mean, it, the strap is broke. It needs a button. I mean, it was a mess. So I put 99 cents on it and somebody bought it. So I'm guessing they're going to fix it up. I mean, they could even, you know, how you can dye, uh, dye it and maybe make it into something if they want something vintage. I don't know. But so I sold it for 99 cents. Did I make any money? I probably made it like 50 cents or something. But it was more of do I want to put this in the trash can or do I want to try and save it and maybe somebody can use it for something. So that's what I did. Now, I could have gotten lucky and maybe two people really wanted it and it could have gotten bid up. That would have been amazing, but that did not happen. Okay, so this uh, this is kind of a cool story. So this is a cabbage patch and it has on its outfit and the person won this auction for $29 and they messaged me and they said, hey, I don't want the doll. I don't want to pay the high shipping because of the weight of the doll. Can you just take the outfit off of the doll and ship it to me and keep the doll and send me the outfit. That way I don't have to pay as much shipping. I was like, yeah. So I called eBay and I'm like, well, what do you think about it? Can I just do that? And they're like, no, I would cancel that order. And then I would recreate the listing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. But in the long run, it does save me from them saying, hey, she didn't ship me the doll or something like that. Even with the um, emails present, I think that I probably still could have gotten lost the case if I didn't ship the doll. So what I did is I just canceled this transaction, relisted the outfit only, and then shipped it to her with the lower shipping. And then I have the doll relisted. So I sold this outfit for $29, this Cabbage Patch outfit and shoes. So that was pretty cool. All right. I have sold these before and I have done well with them before. I actually sold another set that had the carrying case with it and no cards. And that one sold for like $24.99. So if you can pick these up cheap, they are definitely a bolo. I think I paid three bucks for this set. And it is a part, part when I say $3, that is a part of the total that I'm going to tell you at the end of the video of what I paid for everything. So, um, yeah. And I sold this Cabbage Patch outfit for $10.50. I just started at auction style. And then this Cabbage Patch I sold for $29.51. And these are in really good condition. They've got the tags attached, but this person wanted the doll. So, and then this is the big seller of the group. So it's a trumpet and it has three mouthpieces. I did not do any research on this. I probably could have pieced this out, sold things separately, and actually maybe made more money. But again, with what I have in everything that I purchased at the estate, I got a really good deal. I'm guessing probably the person that bought this bought it to resell, and I'm fine with that. Um, it had nine bids, it sold for 177. This piece right here seemed to be what people were asking about. Um, I did look it up and some of them went for big money and some of them didn't. It's like sometimes when I search solds, it's so all over the place. I'm sure I have the one that went for big money because this ended up selling for $177. So somebody might be able to get that out of just one mouthpiece. I don't know. Apparently some of them are silver. I. I, I should have probably done my research, but I didn't. I ended up packaging this thing like three different times. It was very frustrating. <laughs> so um, I, I'm not into packaging big things and I'm always worried that they're not gonna be wrapped good and stuff like that. So I think the person got a good deal. Shipping, it went to California, so shipping was like $50 on top of that. So it has a nice case. But anyway, so this was my biggest sold and I kind of knew that, that was, this was gonna be my money maker, but uh, I got a few more here. Do not 
I repeat, do not make this mistake. So this item sold and I'm like, what? I had that on auction. So when I listed this, I clicked on sell similar from somebody else's listing and I forgot to check to make sure that it was on auction and I listed it from a buy it now and I changed the price to $9.99, but it was buy it now instead of auction. I wanted it to be $9.99 auction. So I'm take it, I'm guessing I lost on this one because there were some really cool handkerchiefs in here. And sometimes these are bolos. So, I mean, this little guy is super cool right here. I mean, that alone I probably should have sold separately, but I was hoping it would bring up the price of the auction, which it did not go auction. It sold buy it now and I had it on sale 18% off. So I only got $8 and 19 cents for it. So I was really bummed about that, but it was my mistake and I'm not going to cancel the sale because of something a mistake I made. So I honored it and I shipped it and they're probably going to sell it and make good money. So, um, yeah. All right. A couple more things I sold, I sold this, uh, their bunny pins and they're super cute. And I'm guessing that these just sold well for, because it was Easter, but I sold them for $25 and then another bunny pin. And this one is signed and numbered and it sold for $25 also. So just in the two bunnies, I, I sold them for 25 each. Poshmark takes 20%, so they took five bucks. So I walked with $20 profit on each one, minus what I paid for it, which again, not much. Um, and then I also bought um, a bunch of this Origami Owl party supplies um, and some of the jewelry. And I still have the jewelry listed, so if you want to see that, you can check it out. I've got it listed in uh, my Poshmark store, and I think I have it on Mercari also, but those links are down below. But uh, this is just the thank you cards and some of the supplies, the supply boxes, and these are like invites. Again, I was like, I, I threw away a bunch of the stuff, like the things that you take orders on, and I probably should have tried to sell those too. But um, these I figured somebody could still use. So I just put them on Mercari for $7. Somebody offered me six. Mercari takes um, 10%. That's it. So I made $5.40. Is that a lot of money? No, but it's beats putting it in the trash. It took me a few minutes to list. And I still have all of the other origami owl stuff listed. And I paid a dollar for all of it. So really, really good. All right, so let's talk numbers. Um, so, so what I paid for everything. So I went to a two estate sales that day. One of them I paid, I, I wanna say everything was 50% off and then, and I didn't get much at that one. And then I went back to the other one that I was at first and it was the end of the sale. And it was one of those sales where they had a lot of wiggle room because it was, the sale was pretty much over. So. I don't know if they were going to donate everything at that point that had not sold. So I just put everything together and she gave me a price. And there were a couple different things that I had purchased before the sale had ended that I paid a little bit more for. So what I did is I took the two sales, I figured out what I paid for everything. And I'm just going to keep that number, which is $106 for everything. Okay. And again, I still have like 80 pieces of jewelry from this sale that is listed. So, so far to date, just from the items in this video, which there's not very many items in this video, the trumpet was the main big thing that I sold. But so far I'm at $363.10. That is not including shipping. Um, I'm not including the shipping cost because I don't get that and I don't see that. But um, I didn't, that the shipping is not included in that. That is actually the sold price of the item without shipping costs. So it, let's see, 363, let me just give you an exact number, uh, 363.10 minus 106. So I have made my money back, plus I have made $257. Now, fees do have to come out of that $257. So um, whatever that comes out to. 
So that does put a little bit of a dent in it, but you have to think of everything that I still have listed. Again, go check out my estate video and you will see how much stuff I got. I got so much stuff from this sale for $106, two sales, sorry. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. So be sure to check out that video. I'll post it below if you have questions or if you see something um, in the video that you had a question about or you wanna comment on. I appreciate comments and feedback. And if you like the video, click like. And again, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.